So this is one of our native roses. This one is more than likely pasture rose, a uh, Rosa carolinsis. Some of it's called Carolina rose, but there's another Carolina rose as well that's not very common around here. But basically, when you find a wild rose, if it's pink flowered, it's likely going to be the native. If it's got white flowers or some other color, it's not. You can see this is a light pink. Uh, here are the leaves. It's, there's also uh, our native uh, our, our native roses don't have these little frills around the where, where the leaves connect, which multiflora, one of the invasives, does, and sometimes rugosa, which is another escapee. But again, in general, they only bloom one time a year, though, so it's not you know it's not the best way of telling them apart. But if you see a, a pink rose, pretty much you can say that it's one of our natives. Bloom one time, they're very pretty. These will form across rose hips, which are high in vitamin C, like all rose hips are, but uh, also our favorite of birds. Past, uh, pasture rose, again, grows on the edges of pastures. You can take a little bit of trimming and so forth, but a neat little plant that, um, that's got lots of wildlife value, not just because of the rose hips that, that uh, birds and stuff eat, but also because of the thorns, it provides a lot of cover too. This one's gotten mown repeatedly because it's by the edge of a, edge of a of a train track, but again, a re you know, real neat little thing. Pasture rose, one of our native, thus pink roses.